How long will it take you to get ready? I'm always ready. Call him the way I see him, pal. Needless to say, I was very excited to try this fragrance based on the name alone. It symbolizes a time where cool was not what we are now. The swag was different. The ambiance was live, sexy. Everybody wanted to be in the scene. Abundant amount of drugs everywhere. And it was socially acceptable. I mean, nightclubs were providing tables that countertops were full glass for you to indulge in the devil's dandruff, that booger sugar, that white devil. Let me guess, white devil, white devil? Socially acceptable. So when I saw the name of this fragrance and the time and the, not only the time, but the TV show that, that it represented it, but am I willing to do a crazy ass blind buy before I smell it as I usually do? Mm, luckily, I got it in a purchase sample pack. So I'm very excited to bring to you, well, let's roll my motherfucking music and find out. The sexy motherfucker. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Yeah, buddy. I mean, who? within the 30s, 40s, or older, doesn't remember this show. This shit was iconic. You wanted to be Don Johnson. You wanted to be that bad motherfucker whipping that Ferrari, wearing those white linen pants and them slip-ons with no socks. Hashtag Dominican love. Listen, the fragrance that I'm gonna be talking about today and giving you my outlook is by Killian's Miami Vice. The colors, Miami Vice. First of all, obviously, I'm Cuban, duh. But Miami's my second home. It's my home away from home. So there's two fragrances in these limited edition sets. Love the way you taste, excuse me, and love the way you feel. This is the sample pack. This is love the way you feel. We're gonna be talking about love the way you taste. This is how the bottle looks. Here's the sample joint, and it's already sprayed on my pretty ass clammy white hand. Off rip, mint, mint, summer Miami vibes. Very beautiful, fresh mint. But this, I've heard and kind of mentioned somewhat of a mojito vibe. Naturally, when mint is associated in this type of element, they associate it with mojito. This smells like a mocktail mojito, meaning it has no boozy element to my nostrils. It more smells like crushed, really good organic mint into like a Perrier or sparkling water because it's effervescent, it's very mint prominent and some beautiful vetiver. It is a great fragrance. However, I don't feel that it garners the $250 price tag. Number one, I'm really trying to fuck with Killian's hard. Like every Killian that I've smelled really intrigues me or I absolutely love or I work my way into loving it once I give it more and more time and appreciation. One thing that disappointed me about this fragrance is I would have loved if this limited edition came in like their Killian signature packages with that fucking, maybe like a white purple and like that whole Miami Art Deco lacquer box. What? That shit would have been killer, number one. Number two, I wish this fragrance had more of a mojito boozy note to it. I know it would go along, there's a lot of mojito boozy notes to it, but I feel like Killian kind of slacked on this one, making it a limited. I feel that they had so much more potential to make this shit a fucking smash, but I kind of feel like they cheapened it out. And it's kind of disappointing, because especially on Miami Vice, Miami Vice was so fucking iconic. Like, there's people still now today that are either discovering the shit or still vibing from those times, and they'll still want to dress like fucking Crockett. You feel me? Like, they could have done so much better with this joint. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that I think there's other fragrances that are a lot cheaper than 250 bucks that have these type of elements with the boozy quality. This is more like a straight up mocktail. It's a mojito mint with sparkling water, very light florals, and a really pretty bergamot vetiver kind of vibe. 
is dope, but I expected more. I wanted the packaging to be Killian packaging. I wanted the fucking presentation, not just the bottle, because the bottle's sexy as fuck, but I wanted the juice inside to be a fucking real, some sexiness, some, you can make this shit something, you know what I'm saying? Fucking awesome. Mm, kind of a letdown. It smells good. I'm not gonna not wear it. It's, it's not, it's not a bad fragrance. Don't get me twisted. I just think that they kind of slacked a little bit on this joint. And that's my interpretation of love the way you taste. Fucking the name is dope. The actual bottle is dope. It's missing the box which sucks. It's missing the boozy element that I think would have taken this shit to another height. Cause Killian, Killian Hennessy, it's Hennessy. Would you have a problem finding booze? Stop. Y'all slacked a little bit. I wish this wouldn't be limited edition. I wish they would make it a staple and revamp it a little bit with some kicked up alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little bit of a fresher mint. Cause I think like Etat Libre DRN, someone like you, I think it's someone or someone like you, whatever, has a way better mint. My opinion. What y'all motherfuckers think? Y'all let me know. Is this a ball sprayer? No. It's not. And it's disappointing to say it's not cause I really am trying to fuck with Killian hard. Pause. It didn't take me to where I wanted it to take me. I wanted to feel like I was gonna walk into an 80s nightclub with a glass countertop and start snorting lines until I don't remember shit. Take off my pants, run half naked with my dick in my hand saying, cool was the shit. But no, I didn't do that. Man, that's just my perception. Let me know what y'all motherfuckers think. I love you from the heart and the unsprayed testicles. And I'll see y'all motherfuckers next time. You know who it is, it's your boy, Smooches. Hello. Who I know, 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 who I